Hello viewers, I welcome you all from my Tech channel and today we are going to talk about uh, entity relationships. Before going uh, to the theoretical part of this uh, entity relationship uh, class, we will discuss about what we have covered so far in our previous videos uh, that we have. I have just uploaded a few days ago in, uh, in my channel. First of all, uh, <clears throat> we know that dynamic CRM is uh, nothing but uh, a set of entities it's a set of unique entities that uh, are defined as a table in which there are various fields in which uh, the values are stored okay so entity is just like a, a database table in which there are multiple fields uh, which are defined as the default or as a custom fields of uh, different data types such as uh, single line of text, multiple line of text, drop down uh, and lookup column, uh, date column, currency column and many other fields as well. So uh, dynamic CRM actually revolves around uh, different entities. These entities uh, have different relations. They are, have, they are interlinked with each other with different relations. For example, for some purpose you have to fetch data uh, of uh, uh, one entity to another entity okay for that purpose you use uh, uh, lookup columns okay uh, you also use a terminology that I'm going to cover soon in my upcoming classes that is append and append to that is a very common technology uh, terminology that is used in dynamic CRM so after covering the part of uh, what are actually the entities are we have uh, covered them that what are the default entry that, uh, that comes under CRM as out of the box solution and we have also discussed about custom entities as well okay so the next topic uh, that we have covered is entity attributes okay whenever you create an entity by default only one attribute that is uh, usable is created whereas many other uh, attributes or fields are created which are used by the dynamic CRM for its own calculation and for its own uh, record handling okay uh, but there is a one field that is simple line of text that is single line of text uh, which is created by default uh, uh, whenever you create an entity so there are uh, many other uh, fields that can be created by you and these fields can have different type of data types as specified in dynamic CRM after that we covered the security roles because security roles are actually the definitions which are defined in order to make the users access the uh, that particular entity okay so security roles are actually uh, there are default security roles and they are custom security roles which are uh, created by you there is no need to worry if you are new to this uh, terminologies because I have already uploaded many videos of dynamic CRM on these topics in which I have covered these topics in detail uh, so uh, just for now uh, we are going to just have a review of our previous classes then we are going to proceed further because I wish that very soon I uh, upload very uh, advanced topics as well so uh, security roles are actually the definitions which are defined in order to link the users with it link the users or teams with it uh, to access any resource or entities okay so after covering the security roles we covered an important point that was field security profile that was the previous video that i have just uploaded uh, two or three days ago uh, field security profile is uh, a terminology or a feature of uh, dynamic CRM that is used to define custom uh, permissions for particular team or user for particular attribute within an entity okay for example there is one field which I want that only particular users of the team can have an access of viewing that data of that field whereas the remaining users may not see should not see uh, that data for that purpose I use the field security profiles okay so these were the topics that we have covered so far if you are a new vis visitor of my channel or this video I request you to go to my previous uh, channel list and uh, video list and you can get all the videos there easily 
and also subscribe my channel so that you may uh, continue enjoying watching more videos now if we cover uh, if we go to uh, <coughs> entity relationships now just as you have told that dynamic crm is actually the collection of entities these entities uh, are for some purpose dependent on each other or with among each other okay there can be more than one or uh, there can be more than two entities that are interdependent on uh, one another and for that purpose uh, we use the entity relationship terminologies okay for entity relationships there is uh, three types of relationship the first one is one to n relationship okay the next one is n to one relationship and the last one is n to n relationship n means more than one so if i call uh, if i talk about one to n relationship it means that there is a one uh, value of the field in within an entity that is uh, linked with multiple values of some other entity for example there is one city let's say city a in city a there are five offices of your organization or business units okay you have five business units uh, that are five different offices that are situated within one city it means that there is one city but it has multiple offices okay and if we talk about n to one relationship it means that there are uh, there is a head office okay there is a head office that is uh, situated in one uh, that is situated in every city there are multiple cities and every city has a unique head office or we can uh, take any other example there are numerous examples of n to one relationship it means that uh, multiple values have are linked with one uh, value with an other entity field for example there are multiple patients that are directed to one particular doctor all the patients that are coming for some particular uh, disease are directed to only one particular doctor this is another example so you can take many examples as uh, you like now the next one is that end to end relationship you have multiple doctors and multiple patients of various diseases so you mark them end to end for example there is a burden uh, let's take another example there are production units okay these are production units of your organization and there are multiple orders that are coming these orders are uh, different in nature and now you want that all uh, these products uh, orders that are coming from your customers may be distributed to uh, your production units so you assign multiple projects multiple orders to multiple product uh, uh, multiple production units that is an end to one end to end relationship so these three types of relationships are commonly used in uh, crm among the entities or to interlink or to uh, link or to create a relation between uh, multiple entities so if you have uh, gone uh, uh, that was just a theoretical portion of this video because uh, we are going to cover these topics in detail uh, in practical demonstration in our upcoming videos uh, very soon i'm going to upload separate videos for one to end relationship separate video for n to one relationship and a separate uh, uh, video for n to end relationship for up till now if we see here we go to dynamic crm and here if we go into settings and customizations uh, customize the system here you can see that these are a set of entities these are all entities and uh, if i go into entities and uh, if I uh, select the custom entities, let's say there's a uh, one entity that is product detail. Okay, if we uh, search it here, you can easily find out uh, it here P in alphabetically order. That is product detail. In product detail, if I go into the details, here you can see that these are three types of relations. These are the relationships in which, whenever you go into the details, you can uh, go and check the. Uh, relationship for example if i double click it and here you can see that uh, this is the relationship that have already been created and for creating a new relationship you cl click on new 
see that these are different types of uh, values that you have to identify here you have to define the relationship definition uh, you have to link this entity with that entity in which you want to have multiple uh, uh, one to one relationship and similarly there are other values as well so we are not going into the details uh, right now of the theoretical portion and uh, we will cover all of them one by one separately for up till now i just want to give you a very short demonstration or a theoretical overview of the relationships between the entities okay now in our upcoming videos we are going to see one by one uh, practically uh, through crm that how we can create the one to end relationship end to one relationship and end to end relationship i thank you all for watching this short video and guys please subscribe my channel so that you continue enjoying watching more videos i thank you all